Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we're working on Module 1, Lesson 14. We are using place value understanding to decompose to smaller units up to three times using the standard subtraction algorithm and we are applying that algorithm to solve word problems using tape diagrams. Well, that is a mouthful. So let's get right to the standard algorithm problems. I'm going to do a couple of those for you and you'll have plenty of opportunities for practice. Problem number one asks us to use the standard algorithm to solve the following subtraction problems, and I'm going to do two of those problems, C and F, uh, with you today. So when we do subtraction, we need to make sure that in every single place value, we have enough units in the, in the menu end to do the subtraction. In other words, can we take 2 from 9? You know, can we start with 9 and take away 2? Yeah, we can do that. But in the 10s, we run into a problem. Can we take 9 away from 8? No, we can't do that. So we're going to need to borrow. And since we're in the tens column, we're going to need to decompose one of the hundreds. But here's the thing. There aren't any hundreds. So we're going to have to go to the thousands column where we see this thousand, this one thousand. We are going to have to go ahead and turn that into a... Oops. See? Already a mistake. We're going to have to turn that into zero thousands to make ten hundreds. And now we're going to take one of those hundreds, turn it into nine hundreds, to make tens. So instead of 18 tens, we'll have, I'm sorry, instead of eight tens, we'll have 18 tens. And now we can continue to move along. So now we've got enough tens, right, 18 minus 9. We've got enough hundreds, 9 minus 1. But now we have a new problem. We don't have enough thousands, right? We don't, we can't take 5 away from 0, 0 minus 5. So we have to go to the ten thousands column. That's the 7 here. We're going to convert that into 6 ten thousands. We're going to convert that into ten thousands. And that gives us ten thousands, and then we can do the rest of our subtraction, because now we have enough thousands, ten minus five, we have enough ten thousands, six minus two, and we have enough hundred thousands. So we're going to go ahead and do that subtraction. Nine minus two is seven, eighteen minus nine is nine, nine minus one is eight, ten minus five is five, six minus two is four, three minus zero is one, and so our answer is three hundred and forty-five thousand. 897. Now we can check our answer by doing addition, right? We can check our answer by taking the two parts, this number and this number, and see if they add up together to make the whole. I'll leave you to do the double checking uh, since it wasn't part of the directions. We'll see how it goes. Let's take a look at problem 1F. Now again, we're going to step through each of our place values to see if we've got enough to do our subtraction. In our 1s column 9 minus 0, we can do that. In our 10s column 8 minus 7, we can do that. In our hundreds column, 9 minus 0, we can do that. In our thousands column, 9 minus 1, we can do that. In our ten thousands column, 7 minus 2, we can do that. And in our hundred thousands column, 8 minus 0, we can do that. Hey, no problem. Let's just step through it and do it. 9 minus 0 in the ones is 9. 8 minus 7 in the tens is 1. 9 minus 0 in the hundreds is 9. 9 minus 1 in the thousands is 8. 7 minus 2 in the ten thousands is 5. And 8 minus 0 is 8, and again, we could recheck our answer by adding 858,919 to 21,070 to see if we got our whole 879,989, and we'd have our answer double-checked. I'll leave that to you. Let's take a look at a problem that requires a tape diagram, a word problem. The general directions are to draw a tape diagram to represent each problem, use numbers to solve, and write your answer as a statement. Check your answers, okay? And problem number three in particular, we're going to use our read, draw, write strategy. Let's read first. We are going to read that in May, the New York Public Library had, one, had 124,061 books checked out. Of those books, 31,117 were mystery books. How many of the books checked out were not mystery books? Aha! Okay, let's get to the drawing here. So, the whole... It looks like we've got part, part, whole here, because we've been told that overall they had 124,061 books checked out, and of those, 31,000 were mystery books. So I would say we know that 31,117 were mystery books, and what we don't know is how many were not mystery books. I'm going to use an N to indicate not mystery books, right? So if we added up the mystery books and the non-mystery books, we would get the overall whole number of books checked out. 
which is 124,061. Well, this is classic, classic subtraction, right? This is the whole, this is a part, that'll tell us the other part. Let's dial it up. 124,061 minus 31,117. Let's go through each of our place values. Do we have enough ones? Ooh, right away we have a problem, right? We don't have enough ones. So let's take one of our tens and break it into ten ones, giving us eleven ones. Awesome. Do we have enough tens? Five minus one, yep. Do we have enough hundreds? Oh, problem again. We don't have enough hundreds, so we're going to take one of our thousands and break it into ten hundreds. That gives us enough. Let's go to the next one. Thousands, three minus one, great. Ten thousands, two minus three, trouble again. Let's break apart one of our hundred thousands into ten, ten thousands. That gives us twelve ten thousands, and now we've got enough. So I think we've got enough to do our subtraction. Eleven minus seven ones is four. Five tens minus one ten would be four tens. Ten hundreds minus one hundred would be nine hundreds. Three thousands minus one thousand would be two thousand. Twelve Ten thousands minus three ten thousands would be nine ten thousands, and we don't have any more hundred thousands left. So our answer is for n, I'll just draw an arrow here, is ninety two thousand nine hundred forty four. And hey, we were told that we need to check our answers, right? Got to check our answers. So let's add up the two parts. I'm going to do that in red down here. Ninety two thousand nine hundred forty four. Let's add the other part mystery books, 31,117, and let's see if we get our whole, okay? Let's add up our ones digits first. Let's see, so four ones plus seven ones is 11 ones. I'll record the extra number under. Four tens plus one ten plus one ten is six tens, okay? Nine hundreds plus one hundreds is ten hundreds. Record that under. Let's see, go to the thousands digit. Two thousand plus one thousand plus one thousand is four thousand. Awesome. And finally, in the ten thousands, nine ten thousands plus three ten thousands is twelve ten thousands. A hundred and twenty-four thousand sixty-one. Hey, 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 it checks out. Well, now that we've checked our answer, it's time to write. I'm going to go ahead and uh, give myself a little bit more room here at the bottom. Um, I would say ninety-two thousand nine hundred forty-four of the books were not mystery books. Perfect. That's our solution. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. I will see you again with the next episode. Bye-bye.